What is the simplest plan? I will tell you. 600 prisoners walk out the main gate. They just walk out. Right after evening roll call. They just walk out the front gate. That's impossible. That's crazy. Except for one thing. Nothing is impossible for us. So let us create a plan. We're 600 prisoners. Walk out the main gate. Just suppose that most SS were dead, even, even all of them. It would have to happen secretly. We would have to isolate them, kill them one by one in an hour. It went well. We killed five. That makes ten altogether. Eleven. Twenty would have been better. Here are some pistols. Leon has the rest. Good man, Kalamari. for himself now. Those of you who survive, bear witness. Let the world know what has happened here. God is with you. Now let nothing stop you. Thank <laughs> you.
over 300 prisoners escaped safely to the forest. Esther Turner managed to hide from the Germans and from hostile Polish nationals until the Russian liberation. She moved to the United States and now lives with her husband Irving in New Jersey. Esther has testified in many war crimes trials in West Germany. October the 14th, 1943, Sobibor, a Nazi death camp where over one quarter of a million Jews were killed. But in the revolt that day, over 300 of the 600 prisoners made it to freedom, something which had never happened before and would never happen again in World War II. Within days, SS Chief Himmler ordered the camp closed, dismantled, and planted with pine trees. In that forest now stands this monument to the dead. It is also a reminder of the valiant fighters of Sobibor, 